We're going to have uh, six 150 watt panels. That's a total of 900 watts. Almost a kilowatt of power going into this bus. So you guys are not short on juice. Exciting day today. We're gonna take the van out to RV services to Mark to attach it to the bus. We're gonna be bringing the bus attached to the van home this afternoon, hopefully. RV services, we have a ride. Let's see what's going on. Nobody here. That's good, it's probably working on the bus. You got the awning on, I see. It's looking good. Do you have any problems with it? Nope, went on good. I mean, it's we had to double brace everything because again, you're taking your house down the road of 70 miles an hour. Yeah. And it works just as nice as you want. So it's nice. Got the generator working. It's been ran. Everything transfers and everything's good so far. That's the generator. <laughs> I'd give you full power throughout the coaches. Uh, both air conditioners are working the way you want them to work. Yeah. All right, you got the batteries installed. Yeah, your your boy did that. Bracken. Uh, Bracken, nice young man. Your transfer switch is there, and that is your uh, surge protector for your shore power. In, nice. In the event you're somewhere. That one's manufactured here in North Carolina, and you, you bought the best one you could buy. Cool. Uh, we're gonna put a little plastic on here for sharp edges. Yeah. And then you roll your cord, your cord will stay here. Okay, very we nice. We didn't need to put a divider wall in because you stepped up and got the right batteries. Good. Um, there'll be no sulfuric fumes, acid spilling. Uh, it's a convenient safety situation for you and your family. So I'm definitely happy you're doing things right. So this now is fully automatic. You want power, you plug it in. If you can't plug in, you hit your generator button. If you don't have that, your solar will take over the rest of it, and then we'll talk about what circuits are going okay. there. What we may have to do, I don't know if you did any research on this um, blue ox part. I mean, it's a super clean, you're gonna love it. We may have to trim a piece of this plastic out of here. Okay. Um, it's all right. Brackets going in, there's going to be two big aluminum studs that are going to stick out yeah. that you're going to hook up and then when you're not doing it, they simply twist off and you throw them in the back seat. Let me explain what's going on here. They're going to open up the front of this car. They're installing this system onto our car. It'll go underneath. That's called a blue ox. That gets us attached right here. That gentleman, is trying, that gentleman is trying to find what's wrong with this speedometer. What's going on up here, Bracken? Uh, just getting the panels installed here. You've got four installed? Four and two are going in right now. Nice. This is cool how you attach this. What's going on there? This is called Dicor. It's a RV roof sealant, but each one of these brackets uh, will hold like a thousand pounds. And there's four on each side, so that's 8,000 pounds of holding for. I think they could probably, they'll take at least a hurricane, if not tornado force wind. Is it ready to be mounted on there, Bracken? Just about. <sighs> okay. Speedometer, they think they fixed it. We won't know for sure until we drive down the road, but they're, 98% sure it's fixed. Sounds up. Okay, so we got all six of the solar batteries in and we built a stellar roll cage for the whole thing. Not that the bus is gonna roll over, but if you hit any bumps, it's not going anywhere. Nice. Now you're bolting it on? Yeah, I had to get some parts overnighted from Massachusetts and uh, just to extend the rail here, but. Wow. I'm just scratching the surface of this solar panel project. But Bracken, you've made a video going into much more detail about how this was done, the process, am I right? Yeah, I've been over here for two or three days and uh, working away, and I made a little vlog about it as well. For those of you who are interested in more of what goes on in installing a solar power system in a bus, check out Bracken's video. I'll leave a link in the description.
That goes there. What's that? Uh, so these are the solar cables, and we run the panels in series. Uh, and then uh, we'll just run the two lines down to the converter charger, which is in the bus. I'll show that to you in just a moment. Okay. Now we're talking safety, Bracken. Yeah, the steps have arrived. I like that. Uh oh, Bracken, the inspector's here. Oh, no. Quit, act like you're doing something. Yeah, Boss lady's here. I'm just giving you a hard time. Thanks for coming to pick me up. Oh, you're welcome. They got the speedometer fixed, I think. Oh, God. The only way we'll know for sure is to drive it down the road. Yeah, you like that? It's real good. I thought it looked real good. The generator controls. It's good that he put it up. I just realized that. It's better that it's up because... Yeah, and we were talking about it down there, so yeah. they got... They took the initiative and put it up, so that's good because it was yeah. getting away down here. Well, and also the kids. Ooh. Gideon turning it on, possibly. He yeah. Maybe be able to reach that, so I like that up there. And the generator works nice. They started it earlier this morning. Oh, good. Some bad news is that they cannot install jacks on this thing. The oh. chassis is a bus chassis. It's too big. Yeah. I mean, it's over their head. We could do it done by somebody else. But he said it, it's only for creature comfort because the fridge doesn't have to be level because of the way the fridge is built. And we can get blocks to level some. Yeah, to level it enough. Yeah, and it'll save us a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Making progress over here on the van. You going up? I'm just gonna look. Here, hold my. Oh, are you coming? Keep going. Uh-uh, I'm just looking as far as I'm going. <laughs> Stop, you're shaking it. It's making me nervous. <laughs> Looks good. All right, let's go down. Here's so jacks back. are out, but maybe skylights are in. So we have to go in front of that front air conditioning and behind the back air conditioning. Oh, here. That, might that would be awesome. A... That would be good because we wouldn't have to rely on lights. Yeah. Because some natural light in here. Okay, here it is. The dummy version. Yes, this is the uh, this is the master control panel center here. All right, so your solar panels come from the roof into mm -hmm. this box. Okay. And this box, uh, I won't go through all the details, yeah, but essentially this box uh, controls the charge on your batteries. Okay. Okay. Uh, which are underneath the bus. Right. So they go from the panels to here right to, to the, the batteries, back. and then back up. Uh, eventually they wow. connect to the inverter. Okay. Well, it's a massive inverter. Yep. Um, this is also a, the battery charger. If you're plugged into shore power, this will charge your batteries. When you're unplugged from shore power, this will uh, essentially provide power to Shoot the whole bus. Stuff. Right. So it does both and it has an auto transfer functionality in it. So that goes from here to your breaker panel and the breaker panel goes to everything in the bus. Oh, wow. And there's a bunch of other odds and ends floating about as well, but that. Just make you nervous. Is that as far as they need to go, or do they get to keep tearing it up? Nah, we're you're driving like that. You and we're going out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. All right, thanks, Mark. You're doing a good job. We'll see you this afternoon. Very good. We'll see you this afternoon. Have here. a safe day. We're gonna pull out of here with the van attached to the bus. Is that right? You're gonna be towing okay. out of here with lights and safety and all that. So you'll be fine. All right. See ya. See you, Bracken. Okay. See you next time. You're doing a good job. Yeah. We are back at the Holler House. How's everybody doing? Good. Where are you going, Mr. Brown? Come here and show us those pants. I like those pants. These are wild pants. I got them. Ooh. You like this? He likes. Uh, he, he sweatpants. He requested these this morning. He said blue pants. Blue pants. Does that go with your blue shirt? What you building, buddy? I just built something for Lily. Oh, that nice. That's very kind. And what do we have here? Reading time with Miss Christy. Reading time with me. <laughs> we found a new Fancy Nancy book, so. Oh, yes. Ooh. I haven't read this one yet. You like Fancy Nancy too? Okay, Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I tatted up your children. Whoa, oh let's see that. the tattoos, That's man. That's awesome. Brave and mighty. I like it. Uh, nice. Done. Oh, Lily, yeah. Lily knows what hers says. Um, 
Love never fell. Oh, good job. Oh, Love it. You got. Let me see the mermaid tattoo. <laughs> Sweet. And then Jonah, did you get a tattoo? No. Did you get a tattoo? You didn't want one. He wouldn't. He's clean. He's clean cut. I don't want that. And I was like, that's fine. You don't have like we were just talking about. We, I would do other friends sometimes. Yeah. And he said only crazy people do that. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah. You get a tattoo? No. I guess Josiah and Lily are nuts, oh, you huh? Want one? Yeah. I bet you want one. What would you want a tattoo of? Here. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want it to say? Bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I'm you? Let's get your tattoo, buddy. <laughs> He's ready to go. He's pulling it up. We gonna give him a forearm tattoo? I can, yeah. I'd give him a little sleeve. Okay. Hey, let's see it. Nice. Bad boys. Are you a heartbreaker? Are you a heartbreaker? Yeah. Oh, I see that. But you got love for your mama still, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, so funny. You're just funny. We've been home all afternoon, get some work done. Uh, time to go back to the bus. Luckily, we have Stacy here. Hey, Stacy. <laughs> She's gonna give us a ride back to the bus. She was here editing her video. They're ready to tell their story about their son, Noah, passing away. We'll share that. We'll leave a link in the description. She's just over here having Rebecca help her with some of the editing, scan in photos, that kind of thing. So. I think it'll be a good one. Look at this, we're gonna get to ride in the Red Beetle. Excited? Yeah. Have you driven in one before? No, at least they're on a bigger, new one. I've bigger driven bigger in an old one. Inside than you expect, aren't they? They are. There she is. Car is attached. And your solar panels look so good. Yep. Solar panels on, car on. Okay, you're gonna drive. <laughs> You're driving it. It's there, it's locked. Okay, awesome. Pop up, and you are just good to go all that right. way. All right, Mark, it all looks good. Yeah. All right. Wish us well pulling this big rig down the road. You'll do just and fine. You, you have some good luck, and if you need me, we're here to help you out. Okay, thanks. All right, enjoy it. You getting buckled in? I am. Okay. How do you feel about this? Driving the that car attached to this thing for the first time in rush hour on Friday. Well, we're gonna get a quick introduction. Oh my gosh.